Good morning, everybody, and thank you for joining us. Uh, this webinar, brought to you by both CompNow and VMware, is going to focus on how customers are able to deliver digital-first, people-centric experiences to their users, and are doing so increasingly by thinking strategically about the relationship between apps, software, devices, and platforms. So my name is Cooper Wern. I'm the New South Wales Sales Manager at CompNow, and joining me today is Brad Engstrom. Brad, do you want to say hello? Sure. So yeah, Brad Engstrom, uh, I am the product marketing lead for APJ for cloud and networking portfolios. Excellent. So I'm gonna kick things off today with a brief introduction around CompNow and, and the partnership with VMware. Um, we'll be brief though, and then we'll kick into the actual meat of the discussion and, and a Q and A between Brad and I. So on that note, let's, uh, let's get started. So as most of you on the call should know by now, CompNow, we're an end-to-end -end technology company um, we're an MSP and a systems integrator with expertise really from that end-to-end -end proposition, um, from the, the back end all the way through to endpoints and into, into the cloud. So with revenues approaching $300 million and, and approximately 300 staff located well across the country, you know, we're one of the fastest growing tech companies in Australia and we have genuine national presence and really the ability to scale with our customers as they need us to. So introducing VMware, you know, as, our, as we've grown, so have our capabilities and offerings around the VMware ecosystem. You know, we're perhaps best known in the market today as an end-user compute specialist with that you know, end-user compute pedigree, um, you know, being one of the premier MDM solution providers in country. But increasingly, you know, our conversations you know, and, and the, the way in which we support our customers has shifted towards things like VDI, virtualized infrastructure, and, and really moving headfirst into the cloud. You know, and this shift in digital ways of working has meant that VMware has become you know, really a strategic partner from, for CompNow. You know, last year, we were proudly awarded with the VMware EMM Partner of the Year, in a large part with our pedigree on the Workspace ONE platform and really our broader set of capabilities around device management, modern deployment, and really complex integration projects around, around endpoints in, in a modern enterprise. So shifting, I suppose, into the discussion with, with Brad. You know, so Brad, this, this really is a concept we've seen from VMware in various iterations over the last five years, you know, outlining the relationships between devices, apps, platforms, and really the importance of that relationship in terms of being able to deliver that true digital first experience to end users. So what does this actually mean in practice for your customers? Right, so, you know, as you said, this slide you've seen, you know, last five years, different forms, you know, different, different colors, but the ideas have not changed. Um, what we're looking to do is uh, deliver applications to users. And to do that, you need a platform you know, that, that allows you to manage that application, to build them, run them. And that's what this, this one slide depicts. Um, if you look at the top, so any device, yep. um, there's, a, there's a couple things we're doing there, right? People want to use their own devices at home. And you know, if you remember the early days of BYOD, you, know, you could bring your own phone, but then your employer would say, well, if you leave, we get to erase your phone. And no one was really interested in that, right? So we work with Apple and with Google and we, you know, at fundamental levels, so we can partition that device. So you have a work part and you have a personal part. So if work needs to change something, they can only change the work part of it. And this really allows you to use whatever device you want mm -hmm. for work. Um, a second part of this is, is how you use, um, you know, desktop style devices, laptops, Chromebooks, and that's around BDI. So instead of having, you know, a golden image that you're gonna put right on the laptop, what you're gonna do is have the golden image up in the cloud and deliver it to the laptop. And that allows you a lot of flexibility in what kind of device. And this helps people, you know, consume the applications. Now those applications, whether they make your company run more effectively or it's how you uh, allow employees to get things done or you know deliver things to your customers you know that all comes from a data center or a cloud which is what we have at the bottom there so any cloud now this might be a private cloud that you run it might be public cloud and there's a, a few different aspects of that one we make the software to efficiently run applications in a data center 
We could also do that exact same thing, take those applications while they're running into AWS, Microsoft, Google, and that's all called Cloud Foundation. Um, in addition to that, um, you know, you see the little networky bits in the middle there. Uh, we do software-defined networks, and you know, again, everything we do is is software. And what that allows you to do is take your networking constructs that you've built up and you've tested on premises and pull those into the cloud. Um, with software-defined WAN, you can go and extend your corporate network from a SaaS service, from your data centers, all the way to the homes of your users. And you know, branches of course, but now also to homes. And so the third part of that is management managing those applications regardless of where they're running. And so that is what that part um, is all about. The middle part is any application. And this is something which is more recent. Uh, VMware has always been uh, a platform for running traditional applications. But now with our Tansy portfolio, uh, we create the ways of efficiently developing containers and Kubernetes-based applications. So whatever kind of application you want to run, regardless of where you're delivering it, to wherever you want to deliver it, and that's that's always been our mission. Okay, and look, this is obviously a really cohesive vision, and, and certainly as an MSP, we see a lot of this. You know, so, you know, we work with our customers, you know, at that top layer, you know, around end user compute, device management, VDI, at that bottom layer, you know, there's a whole plethora of ICT infrastructure solutions we'll, we'll do work with. And I think as a lot of our customers are often surprised with in, in the middle where we actually have a whole dedicated part of our business doing software and application development and integration sort of projects. Now, that being said, if, if I'm honest, you know, up until really recently, you know, I think the thinking has very much been siloed, you know, attacking each of these individual components as individual elements rather than, a, I suppose, a unified holistic approach. And that's obviously starting to, to change. So I suppose what are VMware seeing out in the market today in terms of that holistic way of, of approaching everything you've just spoken through and addressing everything together rather as individual components? Well, so as we said, we want to deliver application from the data center to the to the end user yeah. and deliver all the components that allow you to do that. Um, what we saw actually is um, with the start of the pandemic, mm -hmm. a lot of projects which you know had been planned for a two year thing got they have to be done now. Yeah. And so that really rapid need to finish the project um, you know is what changed the way IT departments are working all over the world. Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, I suppose you know VMware have, have, have a coined a concept that the future ready journey, and this, as I understand it, is is based on a huge amount of data and evidence which you guys have put together in terms of outlining a you know a, a framework to the way in which this this journey is taking place. Can you talk us through the future ready journey? Yeah, so future ready was, um, you know, we had to respond to the pandemic. Um, we went from five percent remote workforce to ninety five percent remote. Work first. I think they, the first 2,000 people went remote in 48 hours. And so we started changing the way we delivered IT projects. And then we started to get requests from customers asking for advice on how they could do similar things. Mm -hmm. And so we kind of took that knowledge and distilled it. And you know, we, we call that the future ready journey. And it has three phases. It has respond, adapt, accelerate. Yes. And so we've taken the experience of our customers and our experience and sort of you know, codified it into a bunch of steps people can do to accelerate these IT projects that they have in place. Okay. All right. Well, you know, let's start at the beginning then. Let's, let's talk about Respond. And, and certainly as a, you know, an MSP, you know, we, we saw you know, from our end user compute part of our business, frankly, an unprecedented level of demand when it came to traditional IT hardware. Um, you know, customers who just really weren't fully equipped to deal with you know, the challenges of, of changing the way in which everybody worked remotely and, and doing so overnight. Obviously, you know, with the, the makeup of the change in devices comes a, a shift in the way devices need to be managed, the way in which applications and, and data is delivered to end users. Um, certainly, you know, that was reflected too within our, our, our AV and our collaboration business unit as well. You know, this, this massive overnight shift towards whether it's Zoom, Teams, WebEx, whatever an organization wanted to use. You know, it was fascinating, right? We had so many customers who probably had a, you know, a, a, a collaboration and a communication strategy, which was getting them by, but just wasn't really, you know, 
enterprise grey when it came to six months straight of remote working or however long we're into it now. So I suppose that was certainly our experience. What, is, what does that look like across the whole stack and how are VMware looking at this challenge? Yeah, so a, a lot of things that you saw, like how do you deliver a laptop to a user at home and have it ready to run and some IT person doesn't need to go out and configure it. Yeah. Um, so that, that all relies on software from VMware a lot of that. Uh, so we saw a few things. Uh, you know, one was the mobile device management, mm -hmm. making your personal device useful for work. Second was um, Workspace ONE. So Workspace ONE is a way of, you know, putting all the applications you need to get your work done in a ready to run container. So it's just, you can open the laptop, they're all there, and you can be off and running. Yeah. Um, so that, that helped with the, how do I deploy so many devices so quickly? Because you had a lot of people who were working on you know, a fixed device at work. Yeah. And now you had to get them onto a different device and get them all the th things that used to be installed right on that device. And that's, that's how Workspace ONE comes into, into play. Uh, so that was the first big shift. Um, the second big shift was in the use of cloud. So we saw a huge ramp up of customers that wanted to use cloud to deliver applications. Mm -hmm. um, two reasons for that. One, they're delivering you know, more things to their employees. And second is you know, that became the way businesses interact with their customers. They might have had a small online business and then all of a sudden it went to 90% of their business. So how do I you know, deploy all the applications to run that? My data center might have been a, a certain size. So this is why they said, well, we've got to be able to burst into cloud or move those applications into cloud mm -hmm. and then manage them there. So a huge increase in the amount of cloud being used um, and people wanting to expand into cloud very rapidly. So that was the, the second part of the respond. Um, the third was around networking. Mm -hmm. And this was around software-defined networks. So what software-defined networks do is they give you a way to um, deliver a business network to any location, then you can really segregate the traffic. So you can say, this is business traffic and we are gonna prioritize it. Mm -hmm. And this is you know, personal traffic because you always have a mix of people working from home. And we wanna make sure it's kept separate and that it doesn't interfere with the work getting done. So we saw customers starting to deploy SD-WANs out to people's homes. Um, you would have noticed at the last VMworld, we had a big announcement with Zoom. So the reason they did it is people were starting to rely on Zoom as their primary way of communicating with each other. And so we put head-ins up in Zoom's data centers mm -hmm. so we can take that traffic, prioritize it, make sure it's really clean, and make sure we can deliver that to anyone with a software-defined WAN endpoint. Okay, beautiful. So let's let's shift thinking here a little bit and let's move into that next phase, the, the adapt phase. So I suppose, how does the concept of formalizing strategies, processes, and, and even cost models come into play here? How, how, how does that framework extrapolate this? Yeah, so uh, with adapt, it, it, as you said, you're operationalizing. Yeah. And what that is, you might've said, oh, just give me some cloud resources because I've got a dev team that, that needs them or let's put all these users out there, just get it working. Um, but then you go, okay, I have security policies. You know, I've spent years developing these and implementing them. Have I respected them in all these new locations, out to the home, into the cloud? Um, how do I push networking policies that you know, says that this group cannot talk to this group because the network should not be connected and make sure that they didn't get reconnected somehow in that whole process. Um, so the adapt phase is, kind of bedding down what you did in the, in the respond phase. Uh, other things with the adapt phase is cost management. Uh, so we have a, a part of VMware called Cloud Health. Mm -hmm. And what they do is they allow you to you know, inventory everything you're doing in the cloud, and it will tell you where you're wasting resources. Now, when you had to respond quickly, maybe you didn't care that you wasted resources, yeah. but if you're gonna keep doing this for a while, if you can get a 25% reduction in your cloud costs, which is kind of typical for cloud health customers, yeah, you'll definitely want to do that. So really kind of bring down to just the resources you need. Um, and I guess the third part is management. So what you want to do is monitor everything you're doing and then automate. 
And the reason why you want automate is because if you've got manual process, you just spend all this time, you know, making sure security policy went everywhere. Well, if you're typing commands all the time, you know, the chance of you breaking security policy in some cloud instance or someplace gets really high. So now you want to automate the deployment of cloud resources, automate the deployment of desktops, automate the deployment of networks so that you can maintain that posture regardless of you know, how things change. Yeah, okay. And look, that makes a lot of sense. And certainly I think from, from our perspective, you know, a lot of our customers, what we're saying, you know, probably get moved through that initial react phase and, and really are betting, betting down the strategy when it comes to you know, the way in which they're going to you know, fully go into that, that next shift in, in, into adapt. Okay, well then let's let's move to the third phase, accelerate. What does this all mean? Okay, so uh, different companies will be at different paces. Everyone did um, respond, <laughs> I mean, didn't have a choice. People are now in adapt and different phases with that. And um, we know this because we've actually done surveys of CIOs across Australia. So yeah. we, they said, what did you do? And they said, okay, this is what I did. And okay, that's respond, that's adapt. Um, accelerate is, about the recognition that this is the way it's going to work in the future. Mm -hmm. We are going to use applications to interface with our customers. We're going to use applications to interact with employees. We're going to use, you know, Zoom to, to have conferences. So that will become the new normal. Um, developing those applications, you might be able to do off-the-shelf stuff at the beginning, but then you're going to say, really, you know, if we want to set ourselves apart, we're going to start developing our own applications. And that is with um, you know, developer pipelines mm -hmm. to make sure that the code you develop comes out quickly, comes out respecting all your security policies. And these tend to be a lot of, you know, Kubernetes container applications. Um, so that part is what we think is accelerator, okay. you know, where people are going to start saying, this is the new more, I'm going to build new applications to make that work well. Okay. Well, that makes a lot of sense. So I suppose, you know, in, in starting to, you know, wrap up this concept, you know, I think today, you know, we, we've spoken, you know, primarily around, well, first of all, how the market is moving away from traditional data center IP, which has really created, you know, overnight a demand for modernized workflows. That's from the, the data center all the way through to devices and, and everything in between. And we've also introduced this concept of the future ready journey, uh, which is a framework that guides organizations through those key three phases being adapt, respond and, and accelerate. Um, now, the data suggests that, that most customers are in between that initial react phase and, that, and that's in the early stages of that secondary adapt phase. And naturally, this is where you know, a lot of customers are navigating a, a lot of complexity at the very least and certainly a, you know, a wide range of challenges. And you know, I think for any of our customers on the call here, I'd be remiss if I didn't remind you that as an MSP, you know, uh, both CompNow and, and VMware are you know, ideally placed to, to help you guys guide you through that that part in this journey at whichever part of of the journey you're on and whichever phase you're currently in so in terms of our next steps you know off the back of this email we're going to send through some reading material some some literature uh, which will be sent out by our email um, from comp now marketing and, and i suppose last of all you know if for any of our customers on the call uh, there's a clear engagement model if you're interested in any element of this future ready journey you want to speak to us and we want to speak to to vmware please reach out to your comp now um, account manager or your business development manager um, and they'll certainly engage the right people to come out and, and then have that discussion with you um, so lastly i want to thank everybody for your time this afternoon and i hope you have a wonderful afternoon cheers